Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, and um, I thought I'd pop on here for a few minutes. It's been a while. Um, we have been uh, going through a lot of different stuff, uh, family stuff, and I just really haven't had a chance to do any videos lately. But um, I'm hoping that things are settling down a little bit to where I'm gonna be able to do more of that. <clears throat> and um, yesterday we got out in the yard and we did a lot of work out here and it's looking really pretty today. So I think I'll make a little video to show how everything looks. A lot of stuff is blooming right now. It's really, really kind of at its peak of everything blooming all at once. So I wanna show you guys that later. And um, I uh, thought I would kind of show you just some of the things that I bought yesterday. Um, I went up to Lowe's and um, I got some stuff uh, to try to kind of help with a couple of things. Uh, number one, um, on our patio, um, just because it's summer now, uh, something to kind of keep the flies from coming in the house when we're going in and out, and then uh, something to kind of uh, help with the mosquitoes because here in Texas we have a huge problem with that um, in the summer and then especially this year with all this rain um, they're pretty bad so they do come around and spray for those um, in our town uh, but honestly I don't know how much that really helps uh, you kind of have to fight them yourself too in your own yard so I've been emptying the standing water the best I can there's still a couple of things that are too heavy for me to empty out, so I'm gonna have to get my husband to help me do those. But I thought I would show you guys around and um, just kind of show you what's happening. Also, uh, coming up, I am we're gonna be um, changing out our floors in our house. Right now we have carpet, which I hate. And um, we've had that since we moved here. I've never liked it. And of course it was white carpet too. Uh, which wasn't anything we picked. This is just how the house was. But we're gonna get some laminate floors and I'm very excited about that. So I'll show you guys some before and afters for those. But um, now I'm just gonna kind of turn the camera around and I'll just kind of walk you around and show you uh, what's going on here in my yard. We're gonna get some sunshine here. It's breaking through the clouds. It's very early this morning and this is my favorite time of day. I love this time of day. It's quiet, you can hear the birds. It's just calm. I love calm. So this is a perfect time for me. So let me turn the camera around and I'll kind of show you guys around. So these are some things that I bought yesterday. I got this, um, it's kind of like a, a fogger, I guess, um, that you spray around the area that you're gonna be in. And it's supposed to keep the mosquitoes at bay, at least for a little while. Um, it says it kills them on contact, so we'll see if that works. I got this. This is a, um, it's a disposable fly trap. I guess you just hang it up and it somehow lures them in and then kills them. And I thought I would hang this here on the patio because uh, we have a tendency for flies to get in that door. And my husband really hates that. So I got this to try to keep that from happening. And then this is something new I'm trying. I don't know how this is gonna work. This is supposed to be a mosquito repellent. And you put this thing, some kind of liquid, it fits up inside of this thing. And there's this little mat thing that goes in there too. Again, I haven't really read everything of how to put it together yet, but that's supposed to repel them. So I'm hoping between this and this, and I'll also be like wearing, when I come out, I put stuff on to try to keep them off of me. I'm hoping that'll keep the mosquitoes at bay, at least somewhat, so I don't get eaten alive out here. So I had some breakfast out here a little while ago, which I love having breakfast out here. It's just very, quiet and peaceful. It kind of feels like I'm in a little restaurant, you know, a little Italian restaurant or something. That's kind of the feel I was going for. Um, this is my patio area. Y'all have seen it before, but it's really, everything's in bloom right now. So it's so pretty. And this is my little pathway. 
some of these things like this angel and a few other things you're gonna see. When we moved my mother, we had to move my mother recently to a memory care place. And over the years, we had given her a lot of yard things. And so um, me and one of my brothers were pretty much the ones that wanted to take the yard things. And so I got some angels. That's what this one is. I think that one's kind of sweet. And then this is my butterfly garden, butterfly slash um, hummingbird garden. And it looks like weeds because technically it is, because um, it's wildflowers. But all of this stuff blooms at different times. Like you can see right here, That's all this started from a seed. And see this little thing is about to bloom and all of this attracts butterflies, hummingbirds, <clears throat> bees. Okay, and then I put this little scene together. That's a tiny little strawberry plant. That little uh, camper lights up at night. This little statue here, that was something that was in my mom's yard, so I brought that over here. I thought that was kind of pretty. <clears throat> so there's just another view of my butterfly garden. I got this the other day. I saw that was kind of a pretty color. I can't remember the name of that. There's my aloe vera. It's not looking, it's looking a little better in the middle. It's gotten too much rain. Technically, I think it's, you know, an aloe vera, I think is a cactus or a desert plant. And it has not enjoyed all this rain, but it's starting to pick up again. The rain has kind of stopped here. And my, um, whatever this is called, uh, Sultan's cap or turban cap. I can't remember the name of this, but it's starting to bloom and the bees, the butterflies, and the hummingbirds love this thing. So it's gonna get these little red blooms all over it, and then we're gonna just see all those little wildlife things coming around it. I've been getting lots of cherry tomatoes. This tomato plant is doing great. Now this one, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, here's one tomato, finally. So. This plant here has not been doing very good. I need to maybe give it a little bit of miracle Grow, kind of wake it back up. I've gotten a few tomatoes off of this one. There's one back there that's ready to pick. I'll get that one later. Okay. <clears throat> My blackberries are doing really good. Getting lots of blackberries. Look at all that. Look at all these blackberries. I'm gonna pick all of these later today. Some on this one that are almost ready. There's my honeysuckle. <clears throat> my poor squash plants are not looking good. Again, I think it's the too much rain, too much rain. So hopefully as things dry out, they'll be doing better. There's my blueberries. So, this is my favorite part of this garden. This beautiful purple plant. I think it's salvia. And my daisies. I planted these last year from seeds, and look at them. I got this little fence from Lowe's, and I think it looks so cute. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to walk through here. And just some more, these things that I hung up, that cross came from my mom's house. It's just a little wind chime. <coughs> and that looked pretty. Everything's so green and pretty right now. I got this plant yesterday at Lowe's. I just thought that salmon color was really pretty. And just everything is taken off. Now, my lavender, of course, it doesn't look really great right now, but uh, there's a lavender farm that's not too far from where I live, and and uh, they just finished up their season, so I think this is normal. The plant itself is fine, but it's just done blooming, so I think everything's okay with that. <clears throat> my crepe myrtles looking pretty good starting to fill out and my Indian hawthorn is starting to bloom here's just another view look pretty 
Okay, and then these are some flocks right here. That's flocks. <clears throat> Got a little lantana right here. <clears throat> My cannas, those over there, they're blooming really pretty, but these here, for some reason, they just don't like that spot as much as the ones over there like their spot. My hanging baskets look really good, I think. And then here's my hydrangea. This is the first year this has bloomed. Doesn't it look pretty? I need to put some more seeds in my bird feeders. I cleaned this one out the other day. It was all junked up. It got wet and everything, and it was just like a matted up mess in there. So I cleaned it out. I need to put more seeds in there. There's my sunshine. Look at this pretty plant, the pretty purple that I put in here. Doesn't it look nice? And it's starting to bloom, getting these little flowers on it. You don't have to do a thing to this. I just put it in there. I don't even, I don't even water it. I do nothing. And that just looks pretty like that. I just noticed, and I'm very excited about this. I just noticed this as I was walking over here, that I've got a little gardenia bloom. And I was worried about this gardenia bush. I love the smell of gardenia and I was afraid this thing didn't make it. And there's a bloom. So I'm excited about that. That's good. Okay, here's just another viewpoint of everything. There's my uh, hibiscus. I think that's what those are called. I always forget. Don't those look pretty and tropical? And there's just another view of the patio and the whole thing. I love walking through here. If I was a kid, this would be like a secret garden. <laughs> I would love this as a kid. My dad had a vegetable garden when I was a kid and I would go out there and play in that thing because everything was taller than me. I was little bitty and he had honeysuckle growing along the fence and everything. That's kind of what I was trying to create back there and so I could just imagine if I was a little bitty kid walking through here all the imagination I could use it's very pretty I think so that's it for now um, I'm gonna try to put a cooking video cooking and maybe a cleaning video up uh, later in the weekend or early next week. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more um, stuff on my channel uh, now that I'm off work and things have kind of settled down a little bit. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day today and um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my coffee out here and then try to get some stuff done for the day. I hope you have a wonderful uh, Thursday and a great weekend. All right. Bye everybody.